Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science, and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. The arithmetic mean, geometric mean of two numbers is 75 and 60 respectively. Uh, the ratio of harmonic mean to geometric mean of these numbers is. What exactly is this arithmetic mean or geometric mean? See, if there are two numbers, A comma B, then arithmetic mean of the two numbers is nothing but the average. So, it's just A, B divided by 2. And geometric mean of the two numbers will be root of AB. And harmonic mean of those two numbers will be 2AB divided by A plus B. These are the general formulas how you will calculate arithmetic or geometric or harmonic mean. Now they gave you arithmetic and geometric mean. But they are asking you the ratio of harmonic and geometric mean. So, what exactly is arithmetic mean as we seen a plus b divided by 2. If I imagine the numbers as a and b, a plus b divided by 2 should be equal to 75. So, what we will get a plus b is equal to 150. Yes, and similarly, geometric mean root of a b is equal to 60. That means what is the value of a b? If root goes that side, it will become square which is 3600. So, let us find out harmonic mean. Even without using the numbers A and B, I can get the harmonic mean. What is harmonic mean? 2 into AB. What is AB value? 3600 divided by A plus B. How much is A plus B value? 150. So, just by cancelling this, we will directly get the harmonic mean instead of even going with the values and identifying the A and B numbers. So, let us cancel 15 once and 15 24 times. So, 24 into 2, 48. So, harmonic mean is 48. But what is our question? Harmonic mean to geometric mean ratio. So, harmonic mean divided by geometric mean we are supposed to find out. So, how much we got harmonic mean? 48 divided by geometric mean is already given in our question which is 60. So, what is the ratio? 12 fourths and 12 fives. So, 4 is to 5. Option A. This is actually one of the method that you can solve for. This is actually the general method how we will solve by using the formulas. But there is no necessity of solving by using this method. There is a simple trick. Harmonic mean divided by geometric mean is always equal to geometric mean divided by arithmetic mean. Or else there is even a trick like harmonic mean is equal to geometric mean square by arithmetic mean. Means if I just send geometric mean this side, it will become geometric mean square by arithmetic mean. This is a standard formula for all of the terms. It will satisfy uh, for two terms, sorry. For two terms, it will always satisfy. So instead of doing that much process, always we follow this. Harmonic mean is equals to geometric mean square by arithmetic mean. Now, they ask us the ratio. Let's go with this. Harmonic mean by geometric mean is how much? Geometric mean by arithmetic. What is geometric mean? 60. By arithmetic mean is how much? 75. So, what's the answer? 4 is to 5. Option A. So, without solving anything, I can just solve by using this trick. If I know it, it just takes me hardly 10 seconds to 15 seconds of time to identify the answer. So, it's just 60 divided by 75, which is 4 is to 5. Even without finding A value, B value, harmonic mean value, we can directly apply here. Harmonic by geometric, they ask us the ratio. So, it is nothing but geometric by arithmetic. So, 60 by 75. So, 4 is to 5. Option A. So, there are some of the tricks like this which you can learn. So, if you are interested to learn more the tricks like this, you can join our master batch too. So, option A is the correct answer. So, 6 persons A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D, comma, E, comma, F are sitting in a row facing north. So, there are 6 people. First, what we will do? We will imagine 6 positions before we start. Uh, B is adjacent to E and D and D. So, B is adjacent to D and D means B should be 
uh, adjacent. So after B, D and D should be there like this. Even E can be here or D can be here or B should be middle of them. Adjacent is nothing but the neighbor. C is sitting immediate right of F who is not at any of the end. So F is not at any of the end and C is sitting immediate right of F. So if you take F this side, right side of F, C should be there like this. Means F can be here, C can be here, F can be here, C can be here, F can be here, C can be here. But F should not come at the corner. Okay, so let's keep it. Uh, we'll we'll uh, place them. As of now, we'll just keep it aside. We'll see for one more statement what they has given. Uh, there is only two persons to the right of D. So right of D. But suppose if I take D here, then only right side of D. This is the right side. So then only right side of D, there will be only two people. See, just two people. Two people satisfied. Right side of D, there are just two people. If you imagine D here, there will be three people on the right side. If you imagine D here, there will be four people on the right side. So D should be in this position. Then only you will have two people on the right side. That means D is here. Okay. So if E is at one of the end. So E is at one of the end. So as we know, D, B and E should be like this. Yes, D, B and E. Or it can be even E, B and D. As they clearly gave, E should be at one of the ends. So if E can be here, yeah. Uh, e should be at one of the ends means let's imagine that E will be here. Just the only possibility because if E is here, then B cannot come adjacent. If B comes here, he is not adjacent to D and E. So this is not possible. So E will be there and B will be here. F and C are together like this. F is not at the corner. So F and C like this. And A will be in the starting, the leftover person. So who is at the end of, who is at another end? That our question is who is at another end? So who is at another end? A is at another end. A is the person E who is at one of the ends. If E is at one of the ends, they clearly said if E is at one of the ends, then who is at the other end? So who is at the other end? A is at the other end. A is at the other end. So what is the answer? Option B. A is at another end. So they clearly gave us six people. So let's just imagine six positions. Just imagine. So after D's right side, only two people should be there. So D can be definitely here. Then only two people will come. E is at one of the corner. And we clearly know B is adjacent to D and D. So the three should be come like a group. D, B and D like this. And then F is not at the corner. F Right side C is there. So only A is here. So if E is at one of the end, who is at the other end? A is there. Option B is the correct answer. I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.